Hello, we're here on Quick Pitch. I'm here with my co-hosts, Ford and Peter. And we're here to discuss the MLB trade deadline. So, Ford, what do you think the Red Sox should do? Uh, personally, I don't think the Red Sox really have a chance of making the playoffs this year. I think the, that's too much to overcome with the Yankees and Orioles doing so well this year. So I think they're going to have to be sellers this year. They're going to trade off guys like Ellsbury. Everybody wants them to trade a pitcher like Beckett or Lester, but I just don't see a big trade like that happening. So I think they're going to sell for some prospects to enhance their middle-of-the-range farm system. I don't really believe they should do anything. Um, some people are saying that Beckett and Lester should be traded, but they don't have any value at this point, so I don't think we could really get a lot for them. So I think they should just stay put and go with the flow, see if they're in the delays at the end, and if we are good, and if we aren't, just move on. I, I like this is the infrastructure we have now, well, besides the pitching, so I don't really think we should trade much. Well, it doesn't seem to be working out right now, so they're in last place, so. Yeah, but <clears throat> the pitchers we can't go really trade because they have no value, but I do like the offense at this point, so I don't think we should change the, the offense up very much. Is there any chance of trading a Felix Dubrov like type player? Because right now he's shown his value this season. Um, no, I definitely don't think he's trading. He's the only young pitcher in the staff. Yeah, think? I don't think you should trade DeBron because he's uh, the quintessential ace of the staff right now, which is weird to think, even though he's in his mid-20s. I think you should try and be a seller and maybe trade somebody like Lester Beckett, even though they have no value. A team maybe in the NL like the Cincinnati Reds or even the Pirates might want him. You could get some young talent from their farm systems, which the Red Sox need because the prospects they pull up are no names. Yeah, so now let's go to the phones. Go to Joe in uh, Fiji. Joe? What do you guys think about the uh, Anthony Ramirez trade to the Dodgers? Oh, good question. Um, well, you know, the Dodgers, they already had D. Gordon at short, which is an interesting deal for uh, both. Do you know who the Dodgers got? Or the... Uh, the Dodgers received Hanley Ramirez and Randy Choate in that trade. The Dodgers didn't have a very good bullpen to start off with, so Choate could be a good middle relief guy, maybe even setup man if he shows that he's valuable. Uh, Hanley's primarily played third base this year for the Marlins with Jose Reyes in the mix in Miami. So I think he'll be a good fit there as they do have Dee Gordon, and I think they're showing their faith in him as a leadoff or number nine hitter in there. Yeah, I think with this addition, the Dodgers are going to be a legitimate contender in the playoffs to go as far as maybe even the World Series or to win the World Series, but you never know. Where do you think Hamlet Ramirez will bat in the order? Another good question. Um, let's see. Since D. Gordon is at the top of the line. I think Hamlet will bat second with Matt Kemp batting third and then Andre Ethier batting cleanup. I think you almost put Hamlet Ramirez in the sixth spot. Uh, the problem with Haley is in the past few years he's really been struggling with his batting average and his power numbers. So I think we gotta see how he's doing. They gotta put him in the number two spot right now. And then if he's struggling, I think you gotta put him down the lineup, much like the Red Sox hit with Crawford. I also believe that the two spot is the best spot for him as since his power numbers are down, he'll get more LBIs from Deep Gold and Steel in second and he'll just have to get anything in the outfield to bat him in. So yeah. I think yeah. that's all the time we have, so Thanks, folks. we're signing Thank off. You. Thank you. Bye. Catch you next week.